Welcome back to the Next Gen Paradigm Podcast. My name is Cameron Hessen, and I am joined by three of my team members. We've got Jimmy just to my right, Owen besides Jimmy, and then Aaron just to my left. All of us have had a chance to really investigate some very cool locations, but today we really want to talk about and focus on one key location that we just went to that we're very excited to talk to you guys about. So keep listening because you're about to hear about the Indiana State Sanatorium. So, Indiana State, just kind of a little bit about that. It used to be a former tuberculosis hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, It was then turned into a mental facility as well as a nursing home. Had a lot of interesting things happen. There was a lot of malpractice that did occur, which is what led to the Indiana State Sanatorium being shut down. So, we had a lot of cool things. We, Jimmy, you and I, and well, Aaron, you were there too. Mm -hmm. We had all been to Indiana State before, but Owen, this was your first time going. It was. What was your, like, overall impression of Indiana State when you first got there? Really, it was kind of a what have I got myself into situation. Just the, how, how, how massive this location was was pretty crazy. It is a very cool location. Very cool location. Very big location. Mm-hmm. What, like, if there was one building that you could say really stood out to you the most, which building on the property was the one that... I would say the admin building, but the one where we had a lot of cat ball activity. Yeah. That, I think that was probably my favorite building to go into. Not only did it look really interesting, uh, for me, I, I think that's where most of the activity happened in, in my experience. I mean, it was very active that night. Jimmy, what was your like primary like go-to location that night? Uh, it would have definitely been the nursing home. Uh, only because the last time we went there, I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time in that area. Um, and on this particular investigation, we had my brother with me. So I knew about the experience you guys had the last time there. So I really wanted Joey to really get a good experience there. And I think that's exactly what he got. I mean, I was just looking back at the footage last night and I saw where something actually did touch him. We'll touch on that a little bit later, but something did rub on his neck and you could see him like immediately have a jerk reaction to it, which is a reaction that I felt before. So that being Joey's first time there, Joey's not an investigator. No, no. He's gone to a couple places, but he's never like really dove into it like we have. Yeah. And so to ha- for him to have that experience just meant the world to me because it just kind of shows that, you know, this is out there, whether you believe in it fully or not, it's out there. You're going to experience it. Yeah. Aaron, hmm. you were there with me last time yeah. uh, back. Was it March uh, years ago when it snowed on us? Yeah. It was cold. So you you you'd seen the building before, but this specific time, which building really kind of you kind of did you feel drawn towards? <clears throat> Probably the nursing home again. Just kind of trying to recap of last the last time we were there's experience. Uh, I really uh, really enjoyed the nursing home a lot. So yeah. Now, mine personally was the nursing home. Like you and I actually had a very good experience. Mm-hmm. Um, in uh, the admin building, but the nursing home to me was the one that really stood out um, of something that I wanted to not experience again, but really try and focus on debunking what had happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a little, a little bit of backstory. Last time we were there, I think it was Adam. You, you were, yeah, you were with me. Mm-hmm. Adam, Aaron, and myself. We were sitting in the direct center of the nursing home. Uh, which if you've never been there, you might have seen pictures. That's where the nurse's station is. Yep. Um, it, it clearly says nurse's station. That's how you know that that's where it was. <laughs> but it's it's an egg-shaped building down, and you can look down from the nurse's station and see all four hallways. Very long, very dark, especially when we were there. And it just felt like the longer it went down, the darker it got because there just was no light. Yeah. Well, when we were there in March a couple of years ago, they had like linoleum down the floor that was starting to really pull up, and so you know that kind of makes that popping sound. Yeah, as there's a to, lot of lot of linoleum on that floor. Yeah, as it started to like loosen up. This time they had ripped all that out. My first thought was like we were just hearing linoleum popping. It was just, I mm-hmm. guess it was at that good moment where everything had started to really pull up that glue that they had put down. But this time it was just all concrete because they had ripped all that linoleum up. There were no extra pieces, nothing like that. Last time we were there, we heard these really loud footsteps that just kind of slowly started like it was just walking towards us mm-hmm. to the point where we thought somebody was coming down the hallway because you were investigating with Brandon Davis yeah. at the time. Yep. And uh, 
we thought maybe you guys were coming down, but you guys were outside. No, we were completely on the other side of campus. Uh, I mean, we were, I think, in the uh, the, the five story building where you guys were. Yeah, you were at Adams Hall. Yeah, you were, at, 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 yeah, you were Hall. outside us. Yep. And I don't know where it. Not only did it start, he was walking, it's not like it was running towards us. Like the the tempo of the steps sped up to the point. Yeah. We were getting nervous because mm-hmm. when we'd had somebody had kind of showed up on property, a trespasser that wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. And so we were on high alert anyway, thinking that maybe something would happen. And we had that similar experience this time just because there were, have been reports of people breaking onto the property. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even the owner, you know, uh, <clears throat> let us know before the investigation that night. Uh, there have been trespassers. Just be mindful of them. And that's the reason, you know, uh, we, we brought some uh, uh, personal protection with us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's important to have that. And those footsteps started out as uh, I caught them on live EVP. Mm-hmm. It was just very faint. And I was like, guys, I was like, I'm hearing footsteps like plain as day. And then it just kept getting louder and louder. And at one point, it, we just totally did away with the equipment. We were just standing there like listening to these footsteps and was like, where are these people at? And it was nothing there. <laughs> well, I remember at one point, Adam was sitting next to me. He's like, ah, it's just come, it's like upstairs. Yeah. I was like, dude, look up. There's a hole in the roof. Yeah. There is there no is upstairs. No. <laughs> there is no upstairs. Like, there's nobody walking above us. There's just something on the floor. With us. And it was, it was kind of crazy. Um, and so just having that experience, again, so to preface that, like, we had that same experience, but this time no linoleum on the floor. Yeah. So the, I know it wasn't linoleum breaking apart. Like there was something there walking towards us. That was wild. But we had also had like a lot of, because you were with us this time, when you were with me and Adam, we had had a lot of different equipment going off. Mm-hmm. There was a, a rim pod that kept going off several times. There was. Uh, that was, That one was pretty crazy. For me personally in the nursing home, my favorite experience out of, out of being there was when I got the SLS camera out, mm-hmm. and I, you were you came up with the body cam footage, and there was a spirit that, in theory, a spirit that had actually crawled out of the ceiling, and you you watch it shimmy down and then crawl back up into the ceiling, and I've never seen that on the SLS camera. Usually, mm. it's just a just you know a stick figure wobbling its arms around doing its own thing. So that was really interesting, and I think we captured it with a flashlight pointing into the closet, so you're not actually seeing, you're seeing that there's nothing actually in there that would be mapping out a person's mm-hmm. skeleton. So that that was really cool for me. Yeah, I mean, the nursing home kind of went nuts while we were there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Jimmy, you always have the unfortunate ability to go to a location and experience nothing while all the rest of us have lots of experiences. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Did you at least have any experience there other than just like what what happened to your brother actually uh i did uh so this time uh my experience happened in the admin building uh of course me joey and aaron were the team that night and uh we were in the admin building and i kept i kept hearing a woman or young girl's uh voice Mm -hmm. sometimes it would sound like a couple syllables maybe saying a sentence other times it would just sound like a moan or a laugh Um, but it was, it, it was, it caught me off guard so much that I I couldn't really trust what I was hearing. Would you, would you say it was like a a grown woman or like a little girl? Um, I would say maybe, maybe even, maybe young, young, a young woman. Cause you know, me, me and you had that communication with, so I'd say six, uh, 10 to 16. I'll say that. So I want to, I want to piggyback off that, uh, for a second. So we were in... The admin building also. Um, I think you and I were on camera at the point. We were kind of talking about snacks. That's what we were doing. Yeah. Um, always, always snacking. I feel like snacks was a very, <laughs> it was an overarching thing for that trip. Beef jerk. Or uh, yeah, Slim Jim. Yeah, 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 Slim Jim. Yep. <laughs> and we had spent so much money on groceries where we ended up talking to people who used to work at Indiana State. Which was kind of wild in itself. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, but anyways, back to the story. There was a a second where we'd had some cat ball activity mm-hmm. up in the admin building on the second floor, third floor? Second floor. Second floor. And if you guys don't know what a cat ball is, it's just a little ball with lights in it. And any time it gets touched or moved, the lights will activate. And it's called a cat ball because they were actually made for cats. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> that was it. Go love them too, though. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, ghosts do love them. So we'd had some of that activity. And then... 
while we we'd stepped outside because I thought I'd seen some shadow play going on out mm-hmm. there. And we're sitting there just kind of talking about snacks like we do. And I just felt something out of my peripheral. So I was like, I'm just going to look at, like, see what it is. So I turned my head and then I jumped back and was like, because I had seen a little girl standing beside me. Like, clear wow. as day. It looks like I'm just looking at you right now. Holy crap. And so, not knowing that you had had that same experience in the admin building. I mean, obviously, I know about it now because yeah, you've yeah. had a chance to talk about it. But I didn't know at the time that you had seen that little girl. I don't know how old she was. Because the second I saw her, I jumped back because there was not supposed to be a little girl in that building with us. Right, right. <laughs> but I remember, I looked at you like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> right. I, I didn't see it, man, but it was, just wow. your excitement was there for sure. Yeah. Like, this man clearly saw something. And it was, it was definitely a cool experience. And like, if you've never witnessed a full-bodied apparition, I hope to God that one day you get to. Because <laughs> it is insane. Yep. Uh, you don't, you can't, you feel dumb. Because you can't decide, is it a human? Is it a ghost? Am I seeing things? Like, what's going on? Well, there was that one that, uh, you, you said you saw it on up on the stairwell, and I moved over, and then, like, you moved behind me, and I was like, dude, did you just see that? It was, <laughs> he's like, now, hold on. I so, think that was me. Yeah, we figured out that it was yeah. just, like, the second time, the one that you had seen. We figured out that was just my reflection being yeah. cast on a window. Yeah. Um, but was, it was, <laughs> there was, was no window where I was looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was looking down the stairwell. So it was it was very cool and we had a lot of good activity there. And it was a good night. But we uh, yeah. but we, we did get interaction to where it, it responded to saying that it was a ten year old girl. Or was it was it six or ten? Uh, I can't remember the exact age. I remember it was around that age. Yeah, though. I'd have to go back and listen to the audio again. Yeah. But we did find out like there was a little girl, and then just lo and behold, I saw a little girl. Hmm. And it was just the kind of series of events that led up to it. But now the question is like, was she a patient there? Was she a child of one of the doctors? Or is she just a manifest, manifestation of everything that went on? Or could could she have been something that would have followed us from another location mm-hmm. too? Yeah, Those are all questions that a lot of investigators tackle with because uh, you just never know. I mean, whatever you see is what you see. And if you happen to get it on camera, then that's even better. But... Uh, there's just everything so ambiguous. We can't provide these solid, as a matter of fact, answers. All right. Now, Aaron, we've talked a little bit about like sort of what we experienced. Did you have any like major experience that you can think of? I I don't think I had any any crazy experiences this go around. Uh, other than when uh, Jimmy's brother got touched. I mean, that was the highlight of our of our team's night. I do believe. And that also took place in the nursing home. Yeah, yeah, right, right there at, at the, the nursing room. station. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, that was very cool. And I really hope that one day we do get to go back because I, I want to keep diving into it a little bit more. That place is just a place you can go back a hundred times and see something different or experience something different every single time. Oh, it's for just sure. so large and so cool. much history behind it. So the, the majority of the buildings that people investigate are the, the three buildings. The admin <clears throat> building, which is where I saw a little girl and you had heard a little girl. Yeah. The nursing home, which used to be uh, well, nursing home, right? Yeah. Um, which sits on top of what used to be, I think it was either the boys or the girls wing of the tuberculosis hospital, mm-hmm. and then the Adams Hall, which used to be the mental uh, mental health facility. Mm-hmm. And so, you have all those three. That's where people really kind of focus on. But there's that boiler or power building or whatever in the back. Yeah. That was the first time I'd ever been in there. Yeah, that was wild. So I got to experience like a lot of the interesting things and just seeing that because like, you could see some of the stuff from like that top level but i didn't know there was steps that, that lead down that was spooky going it looked like he's in a horror was, movie when you're right yeah 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 you, you, you expected somebody to jump out and he's like oh well this is it this is yeah. where i die we, i mean we saw we, some interesting artifacts in there about like we saw a couple of books that said well, uh, something about a serial killer and <laughs> some right, right in front of a creepy uh TV. Yeah. <laughs> what was kind of funny to me was uh, prior prior to your team joining up with ours, uh, Cameron was like, "I'm not going down there. You go down there." It's like, "I'm not going down there." <laughs> Jimmy's like, "I'll go down there." Yeah. <laughs> just walks on in. <laughs> you know, like I was very skeptical because I've seen a lot of like suspense movies. Yeah. You don't go down a set of stairs where you don't know where it's leading. Right. Yeah. Especially in the middle back. of the night. I mean, that's Hollywood. <laughs> 
Hollywood. It has to be based in fact somehow. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Risk it. Here we go. That was the last time they ever saw Jimmy. I will Jimmy. tell you that that uh, that boiler room, basically a power plant, because the whole campus was self-sufficient mm-hmm. in their yeah. power and energy. So um, it was a dang. I mean, just the the structure, the floor. You know, it was all pretty dangerous to walk around. Another in, thing about that night. about that portion of the the uh, the grounds there that's where they kept all of the patients uh, personal belongings was in there right so I mean any of those people that have passed on from any of the buildings could be tied to there just because of their personal belongings was in there so I mean that's just a place you you have to go and you know see and well, see that, what you can get too and like whenever whenever that facility did shut down there was no clean out of the property mm-hmm a lot of the stuff that was there in 2012 when the property shut down officially is still there. And you're looking at, what, 14 years later. Yeah. It's all just still sitting there. It's like essentially a time capsule. Everything looks a little dirtier. Now, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's still frozen in time. Yeah. There's still plates and like in the uh, the cafeteria area, all that stuff is still set up. and it's, It was wild. It's just frozen time. Well, back there in the... Power building, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the, the actual... Freddy Krueger building. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the creepy building. That first little area that you can walk into, when people were checked into the facility, that's where they would put all of their belongings. Yeah. And it's still there. Yep. So who knows what energy is tied to any of that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, if you buy into the attachment theory, you know, people get so... Uh, I don't know, attached to their personal belongings that even after death, they still, they still it could have, be that one feel like item. they have mm-hmm. some sort of possession over that yeah. item. Yeah, they may have one special item that they liked. and I mean, Now let me ask you guys on the attachment theory thing. We're getting away from Indiana State just a little bit. If you could attach like, your soul to one item when you die, what would you attach it to? Oh, boy. I don't even know. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what would be really creepy is if oh, we'll reach back here is if I happen to attach myself to this Funko Pop I made of myself because <laughs> I mean it looks just like me like if I had my glasses on right now it would be it's true. spitting it looks like another ghost hunter right now because this yeah. Yeah. Cause See, that's what like I said he got upset about it this is not Zach Vegas can't say that name on here <laughs> I won't say it I don't care Zach Vegas is not a photographer <laughs> Oh, he's got a camera. Yeah. Oh. That's, I told you that's what I do. So oh, yeah. I gotta, we'll put that up here next to the ghost. Look, I finally found a ghost. Yeah, I was going to say you should point him taking a Look, picture of it. About time <laughs> I take a picture of a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, well. Ooh. That's... It's, your, it's your ego. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this could be a haunted doll. <laughs> could be. True. What, what would you attach yourself to, Jimmy? And I, I don't even know. I mean... I've never really been asked that question, so good question. Um, of course it's a good question. Now answer it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer? Honestly, I'd maybe attach myself to... Uh, I could see you attaching yourself to something inside Royal King. <laughs> possibly. Probably probably the Milwaukee tool section. <laughs> yeah. I've never had anybody whose idea of fun is to go into a uh, local supply store, hardware in the supply store, just walk around and see what the good deals are. Oh, man, it's great. <laughs> it's, un- it's unbelievable some of the deals you find in there. Oh, man. Oh, and like, what about you? You've got to have something. No, I mean, but like maybe I, I've got a pillow my grandmother made me back when I was four you years lazy old. lazy, bro. But that's, 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 that's kind of like my first go-to. I like the nap. I like, you know... Uh, I'd say that's that'd probably be it. It's that pillow that she made me because I've mm-hmm. had it for 15, 16 years now. That is pretty oh. cool. Mm-hmm. And you don't have an answer at all. Probably my couch. That's, that's where your, I go. Like That's, that's your lazy. There's your that's, lazy where I, that's where I go daily. <laughs> we, we put his pillow on your couch. <laughs> yeah. Together hey, forever. We'll be, we'll be Ghost hunters. Couch buddies. <laughs> Fraternizing. What, 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 would you, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. With, attach yourself. Your, not, not, the, does, not, not the Funko Pop. Not the Funko Pop. I can't attach to the Funko Pop? No. Hmm. I, I would probably so um, if you watch the Octagon Hall video you know I'm very obsessed with dinosaurs mm-hmm. I have a lot of unique Jurassic Park memorabilia that I would 
I would probably attach myself to that because that, that's my comfort movie. Movies is something that I am passionate about, and it's something I can get sucked into out of reality. So maybe my spirit will get sucked into that. Mm. But yeah, I would say I would say one of my original Jurassic Park memorabilia things. So. Okay, yeah, have a so, little, so have a little T Rex Cameron running around. <laughs> yeah, well, let's recap on this. So if in the future someone buys your pillow, someone buys your couch, they're gonna all of a sudden be like, for some reason, as of late. I've just been feeling really a big urge to be lazy. Yeah. That's probably what they would say. And probably. then if they bought your dinosaur, they'd oh, say, see, you know, I, I was never a fan of Jurassic Park, but good gosh, these movies are great. <laughs> see, really they, would, they would sit on the couch with their little dinosaur on the table. They'd lay their head on the pillow, and you'd be like, you want some Cheetos? But what about the Milwaukee tools? we got to fit Jimmy in there somewhere. Oh, well, they, so. they had to assemble the table, so the tools are, you know... Yeah. They're there. They're there. And then you'd have a lazy person oh, say, God. for some reason, I just feel like I want to work. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, how are we friends? <laughs> you, just, you just show What's up. What's happened here? <laughs> well, none, none of us really have, we have, we have a lot in common, but not, not the important things, essentially. Yeah. What's all right? Well, does that, does that mean we have nothing important in common? I mean, we've got the ghost thing, that's about it. <laughs> 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 but no, so uh, let's, get, let's get back on Indiana State. So, moving forward, like now that we've been there, it's been almost what, a month since we were there last. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it has been over a month now. Yeah, almost two, almost two months. Because it was early was November. December. Was it first of December? Mm-hmm. First of December. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. it was before Thanksgiving. It's um, but looking back on it now, is there something that you wish you would have done differently as far as that investigation goes? Like somewhere you would have hit just a little bit more. I do. Uh, I wish I would have done more in the the five story building. We had that little, just a little dabble of activity, but I, I think if we would have started there earlier in the night, maybe we would have caught something. Yeah. What about you, Aaron? Is there somewhere you wish, something you wish you could have done differently? Well, yeah. Uh, there towards the end. Moving on. No. Uh, <laughs> there towards the end, uh, uh, me, Jimmy, and his brother was uh, <clears throat> venturing out on our uh, bravery a little bit, and. Uh, we were standing outside the five-story building, and we was going to see how f- we would all stand out. We'd send each other in with a body cam and see how far into the building they could go and how how many floors they could go. And I so didn't, that's what you guys were doing. Yeah. I had seen the production footage of it, but I could not make out yep, what you were doing. That's what we were doing. Yeah, it didn't last very long. No, mm-hmm. I made it in the door. And no, uh, so you never even made it into the door. <laughs> well, okay, I have okay. The yeah. footage he did it. make it into the door. I made it into the door and I turned and that was it. I was like, nope. I think you made it underneath the, the awning, <laughs> yeah. but I wouldn't call that the door. <laughs> Gosh, it was so intimidating, dude. Well, I, I kind of got that vibe walking into the was it's like in between the nursing home and, and the, the five story building as we were going back later into the night, just the walking in, like connection point, mm-hmm. yeah. I kind of felt eerie walking in where, where the, the kids' room was with the mm-hmm. books and everything. Walking in through that doorway, I just I felt a little eerie going in. But What I would have done different, though, is if I could have tried to dig a little harder and make it a little, a little bit further in. Man. Yeah, <laughs> I'd become a little bit more of a man. How far did you make it? Hey, I just, made it past, uh, I made it into the food court because we went into the backside. Of course you would. Yeah, Get a little snack. We, we made it into the. We, we went through like what would have been the main entrance of the building. Yeah, the back side oh, of you're it. Bleeding. And oh yeah, and uh, what? <laughs> Safety manager. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I made it all the way to the food court, but then I saw a door open, which and looking back, it it was probably the wind opening a door. But it should be on the body cam footage, if I'm thinking right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll have to go back and look at so that. So, after that happened, I walked back outside, because I was like, eh, I think we're wasting our time. So, walk back outside, meet up with Joey, uh, but I did not make it past the first floor. We which, didn't do anything like that. No, we didn't. We, 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 stayed, we together. stayed together, yeah. We're, we're a little smarter you, than you guys are. <laughs> you guys we're got like, a little... Let's try this. <laughs> y'all, y'all got a little ahead of me on the going up the stairs up to the th- third floor. Is that where we stopped? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And well, I was, and, was putting a little pep in my step. I was like, I'm getting behind here, you know. And the, the odd part was we actually took a, uh, you know, we walked around the campus mm-hmm. on the outside yep. without our lights on. And oddly enough, it felt pretty comfortable, like, around yeah. each building. Mm-hmm. So once we got back to the admin built, we were, we were walking from the... Uh, doctor's quarters mansion mm-hmm. 
uh, and we made our way all the way to the uh, Adams building. And now, we, yeah. that's where our idea came into Speaking play. Speaking of the doctor's mansion, that is, or superintendent's mansion, I think is what it was. It's super, yeah. We never, we didn't go in there. Um, I wish we kind of yeah. would have went, we would have went in there. Yeah. yeah. I know we, we went during the daytime, checked it out, and it, nothing, nothing yeah. spooky feeling. Of course, yeah. it's middle of the day, so. We just never really had a chance to investigate yeah. at that time. But I mean, it's a big property, and to investigate all that one night, yeah. it's a tall task. Yeah. So you do need more than one night to investigate a property yeah. of that oh, size. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, we were just lucky that we had a fairly good sized team yeah. to bring it. Because last time we were there, we had taken another team with us. Yes. But this time it was just us. And, and honestly, so, bringing that other team with us, I, I still felt like we were the only team on the property. Yeah, we yeah, never It's just ran such into a big other. area. Yeah. It is, I mean, it was a cool place. I'm, I'm excited <clears> we got <throat> to go. And I do know that after that, we said, okay, we'll, just, we'll do something other than hospitals for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we are. But oh, 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 we literally oh. just booked two hospitals for May. <laughs> yeah. All uh, in Tennessee this time. But they'll so. be good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll have a good time with it. But at least we'll take that information, stuff that we experienced at Indiana State, and we'll put that towards the two hospitals that we're going to be visiting in Tennessee in May. Um, yeah. We don't have any hospitals coming up, I don't think, next couple months. But if you think about it, you know, besides Indiana State, uh, most hospitals are where a lot of births happen, and it's also where a lot of deaths happen. So what's the best location to get the best potential evidence mm-hmm. of the afterlife yeah because yeah, it does and take a lot of energy to yeah have a baby yeah have you experienced that <sighs> oh I've, I've worked Here in a hospital go. for uh three years now so I, i've seen them coming in a See couple times so i'm like you get you upstairs or the... <laughs> <laughs> no but I'm, I'm i'm excited i'm glad we got to go and i'm looking forward to seeing what the future will hold in terms of our investigative styles because that was really the second time that the four of us with you have had, you're mm-hmm. the fourth one, yes. have had a chance to investigate together. Because uh, we had done Ackerman Hall prior to mm-hmm. that as novice hunt. So it was very casual, more of a theatrical mm-hmm. thing, put on yeah. a show for the people. Yeah. Um, but still kind of keep it credible to the paranormal. And then we had investigate. Where did we investigate before that? Before Indiana State, we, we, we did another at the hall, just mm-hmm. uh, just the team. Oh, that's right, that's so, right, that's yeah. right. So Indiana State was your first, like, going away. Away, going away from away thing. Ring. Yeah. So, I mean, that was really our first time kind of getting away and spending um, more than a day together, mm-hmm. more than yeah. just a few hours. So what was, you being the new guy, like, we've been around each other for years. Mm-hmm. What was, like, your, your feelings about hanging out with us for that weekend? Because we were together was, three days. It, it was a little nerve wracking at first because, you know, again, you guys have had this friendship for many years now and me coming in, only knowing you for about two, two, three months at that point. Yeah, it was about two, three months. Uh, you know, it, I'd, I'd say that'd be nerve wracking for everybody, but it's just, it was really fun getting to actually go on the road and hang out with a team that is professional and knows what they're doing and they're willing to teach you new things while you're at it. Now, so. I do, uh, we appreciate it. We, we try our best to kind of make sure that you feel mm-hmm. like one of us because in our mind you are. I feel loved. Well, yes. let's, let's not oh, get yeah. crazy here. <laughs> but speaking of loving something, um, if you watch the vlog, because this is going to be out about the same time the Indiana State video oh, yeah. start dropping. Yeah. Jimmy, we, we stayed at a hotel prior to investigating at Indiana State. What was your opinion on their waffles? No. I'll tell you what. I've I've seen a lot of continental breakfasts in my life. The waffles in Terre Haute mm-hmm. have to be the top three waffles I've ever had. It's <laughs> pretty bold. They were good. Pretty bold. I mean, this what was it? A Holiday Inn? I believe it was. A I think it was a Holiday mm-hmm. Inn. No, it was a um, uh, Hilton. 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 Yeah. It was was it a Hilton? Hilton? Yeah, it was yeah. a Hilton. Yeah. Those those Hilton waffles. They'll they'll do the trick for you in the morning. Yeah. They were. Some good and on waffles. top of that, they had some superb bacon. So I, I didn't. I didn't that. get any. I didn't get any bacon. Oh man, you missed it. That. It wasn't out when I when I went I through. Mean, we 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 got down there half hour before. before the way the sure. breakfast bar was assorted was next to none. The best ten sequence out, you could have ever ten. done. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. All I had was a cereal. I didn't eat any of the other stuff. I wish I would have seen them chocolate fruit, chips. Man. Listen, the Fruit it's, Loops. We're phenomenal, man. <laughs> Straight up, like box. every other Fruit Loop you'll ever eat. <laughs> I love Good food, Lord. but those continental breakfasts—they hit the spot. Yeah. Is it just me? Like, again, side topic here. Why do hotel milk? Why do they always taste very watery? 
they probably open it, pour it into a different bottle. Like they re- they reuse the bottles, you know, so they're just recycling the old milk and add a little water to it. There you go. Well, uh, I'm just <laughs> no. <laughs> I think what Never it is is drinking their milk again. Whenever you're drinking it out of a milk carton, typically they actually freeze their milk, and so when it thaws out, you get the condensation. I've never had frozen milk. frozen milk come on. I, I used to work in a grocery store. <laughs> uh, we we never had the cartons come frozen. Ever, so maybe not. Maybe it's uh, just watered down. I bet it's the material. Listen, if you too. work in a hotel, this is these are questions <laughs> we need, that we need. We answers. need answers. We want answers. <laughs> <laughs> Why do your milk taste watery? But no. So let's. <laughs> well, we're gone thirty minutes here. I think I think it's time to start wrapping. Hang up. on, we got to touch on the bats. Oh yeah, yeah. We do. before we get going. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. Touch those on those bats. bats are no joke. They are mm-hmm. like I said before. The bats are the New York rats of the air. <laughs> I mean, they're big, and they're just annoying. So they're everywhere. Though. That's true. Okay, Aaron, let's <laughs> let, let, let's start with your experience with the bats. <laughs> All right. Well, the last time we were there, they were in the uh, they were only in the uh, the tunnels, and they were about the size of this can here. <clears throat> and this time we were there, they were in the tunnels, but uh, they were also in the admin building and. The, yeah, I didn't see well, mostly any the inside admin. the buildings. I didn't see any inside. It was just the tunnels that we saw. Oh man, we walked in the kitchen back there. Well, there was that one in the kitchen. Yeah, but yeah, we didn't really go a, go into it. No, that, that was the big one. Yeah, yeah. that's they're where we saw the, the big one. They're all in the uh, first level of the admin building. Mm. Well, man. I, I do know. Me, 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 me. I do know, like for us. So we like, were we were in the tunnel, and you guys had given us a heads up, like, hey, just be mindful. There's bats through here. Yeah. We had opened the door that takes you underneath Adams Hall in the tunnel. I think it is underneath Adams Hall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And open that door. We're getting ready to go through it. And then you start hearing this loud screech. And I remember I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> right. We, we <laughs> literally shut the door like we're going to keep the bat trapped in there. <laughs> like, well, we're good. That was going to do. We just took off running the other way. I didn't know yeah. what was going on, man. <laughs> yeah, we need, I, I was we lucky. Need... I, had the, I had the camera so I could see. And I see Adam go around a corner to peek. And then he's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> he took off. <laughs> he's a tall dude. If he's running, I guess I got to run too. <laughs> and, and, I mean, it's something you'll, you'll pick up on. If you, hear, if you hear Adam ever say his all oh, hell no, <laughs> he's not going to be there in that location for very <laughs> no. long. He's gone. It, 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 yeah, it has to be something substantial, whether it's yes. paranormal or whether it's The wingspan of those yeah. things. <laughs> Batman was hanging up there. <laughs> but, no, we had a good time. Yeah. We're, we're excited about it. I'm glad we all got to experience it together. It's a good place yeah. It's a good place for any investigator to go. Mm-hmm. It's a really for good sure. place. And I'm looking forward to the next hospital we visit and the next locations that we all get to go to together. I feel like we're going to have a great time. I can't wait. Thank you guys for coming to talk. Guys, just remember, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of you guys who are watching this right now and you're not subscribed to the channel. So just stop what you're doing right now. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon to be notified of all future videos that we upload. And just continue to share this with your friends. It really helps us out on the algorithm. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them. We see everything. We try to make sure we do reply back to you because it's important that we have that sense of community with you guys. Now we're looking forward to seeing what the future is going to hold for us. And yeah. just remember to stay spooky.